All right. There we go. Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Let's head back to Sophosville and see what's going on. Uh, last time, I believe we took on the champion level Siren, I think is what we did last Let time. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. All right. Um, oh yeah, I think a couple people got stressed out last time, and I think these guys are getting rid of, like, compulsive type uh, quirks, because compulsive type quirks are nasty. Um, did I... Oh, we also got friggin' the Ancestor Signet Ring, which I'm so happy to have. I, I can't wait to put that on a, um, on a leper. It, it's just gonna be great. <laughs> Being like a great tanky guy so this is where we're at currently we've got i want to go into the darkest dungeon eventually um it says it's locked though i don't think it's actually locked i think you level it once you level up first or something like that but anywho basically what i want to do before i enter the darkest dungeon is i want to defeat all of the bosses for all of the different places that means we have to level him up, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But, um, essentially we have the cove and we have the wield left to go. So, basically we have to level up these areas till they're level 7, just like these ones. And then we'll fight the lost versions of the bosses, which will be some version of the, the sodden crew and some version of, uh, the, I think the 12 pounder is what the last level is. Anywho, I want to bring up some of these lower level guys because we kind of need, like, some more people up here. So, we're just going to bring this party along and it's going to be weird as hell, but it, we'll do it. So, I'm trying to decide what would be the best here. She's probably the best in the back. So, let's see. She can't use pick to the face back there. She can use lunge. I'll just keep it on her just to be... Just to keep that there. Um, it's gonna be a really weird party, actually. Uh, especially since it's not gonna have any healer. But, uh, you know, what, whatever. I think he's the best in the second position, if I'm not mistaken, because... He needs to be in the second position for most of his uh, attacks here. Granted, you could always start off with Slam. Which would be an interesting starter. And then go with Rake and Rage. But I think that's probably our best bet right there. It's going to be super weird because I'm not going to be probably marking and using his... Uh, his Not his point blank shot, but his pistol shot is going to be the best thing for us. Now, he could use Open Vein back there, because we're not going to be doing Point Blank Shot with this orientation. Um, so we might even think about doing a couple, like, things like that, but, um... Yeah, because otherwise we're using Grape Shot, Pistol Shot, and... Probably not even these two, almost. It's a very odd thing, and I'm not even sure I want to waste money on it, to be honest. <laughs> um, let's upgrade the Dirty Pony. Uh, to make sure that we're ready for this. Because this is going to be exceptionally difficult based on the fact that we're not going to have a healer. So we're probably going to buy as much food as possible. Uh, but let's see here. Oh, go we got to get rid of, rid of Clumsy eventually. Alright, so this is probably what we're going to go with here. Uh, no, we need as much food as possible so we won't do that. Hmm... Give her the Prophet's Eye to improve accuracy and speed, which would be pretty damn cool. Um, actually, is she better in the... Ooh, you know what? Thinking of it, she's probably better in the third position. Now that I, now that I think about it. Yeah, probably. She's better in the third position because she can use Pick to the Face in the third. He's basically useless in those other point points anyway, so we could just do Pistol Shot and Grape Shot Blast from the back. No, we can only use Pistol Shot. It's going to be super awkward, but I'd like to upgrade these people. Or maybe not. Maybe, you know what? Eh. The other thing we can do is we can go to the Cove, and I'm not excited about it, but I think we could get away with it. Maybe. I don't know. It's a difficult thing. Because I usually run with a very... 
like a party that I usually go with all the time. Um, you know what? Might as well. I kind of want to stay safe. This one's so close, though. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. Because basically what we have to do is to fight the 12-pounder, we need someone who can take care of singular targets quickly. Bakor is definitely going to be part of it, so Bakor is probably not going to go on this mission. Unless one of them's a man-hater. Blade Riser. Eldritch Hater. Alright. Bring this lady with us. One of the things I actually wanted to do is I wanted to start bringing uh, some occultists with us. Because I think we'll leave um, Wild George here for a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll focus... Um, actually, he is a wield scrounger and tactician. He would do badass. I feel bad because I'm always bringing the same people along. I want to, like, switch it up a bit. But damn, there's, there's a lot of just nasty shit that can happen. Um, now we have to worry about stuns. Because stunning is going to be a, a, a hell of a thing. Now we could upgrade this guy so that he has stuns. Which we haven't done. And it could be interesting to do so. Uh, let's check out our cultists and see who the best person would be in this case. Comboy has more HP. Oops. Frog Comet has... It's pretty damn good. Wield Tactician, too. Since we are going to the Wield, he'll deal more damage. Alright, we'll bring Frog Comet with us, and hopefully he won't get rid of... Oh, it's a shame. Alright. Otherwise, it's Russell. You know, I'm going to bring Russell. I'm going to bring Russell. I want to lock in the other stuff for the other guys because pretty damn cool. Actually, he's going to be debuffing. We don't need an occultist. I guess we could use an occultist, though. Oh, we have Philly the Synth. Holy shit. I forgot we had Philly the Synth. Never mind. We can totally work with this. Uh, let's see here. We have to upgrade Philly the Synth in order to be ready for this mission. We have to do Disorienting Blast. And fuck it. There we go. Alright. So again, we're going to have a very similar party to what we normally have, but... I'm just not comfortable doing champion missions with a different party. It's just a pain in the ass to sort of... Like, basically they're so unforgiving that it's tough to be like, okay, we're just going to try this out and see how it goes. That's just not how you do things, really. Wow. Terrarian Guard Jr. is coming with us to the next mission. And, damn. Let's bring Creeper along. I think that'll be fine. Alright then. It's a very similar party composition to what I normally bring to the cove because, well, when it comes down to what we're going to be fighting those giants, those giants are terrible. Alright, here we go. Uh, we need to give him a debuff trinket. And let's just do our normal Vestal thing here with the Vestal scroll and Junia's head. And let's see here. So this is what I was going to do. Was Ancestor's Ring. To give him more protection and more accuracy. Now don't we have... Oh, so we do have a second one, but he's, he's not doing well right now. Gotcha. Alright. I was wondering what was going on there. Yeah, so he'll have more accuracy and stuff like that, which is good. Because he's basically, he's not our, our damage dealer. He is our... 
our dude to, to, to help us out with different stuff like that. Uh, debuffing. Alright, so we definitely need the Sun Ring, because she also needs accuracy, surprisingly. And let's see, we could do... Probably Ancestor's Pen, because the extra crit is really nice. That's my thought, at least. And I think we'll do nicely with that. Just check that they have good skills here. Yep, yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Dark Tambourine, we're probably going to sell it because honestly, it's like one of the weirdest freaking trinkets ever. Like, there's some trinkets that are like, do you want to be on the edge of death? And I'm like, no, I really don't. <laughs> Alright, I'm buying all the food because I always buy all the food in champion missions because I don't trust myself. Uh, four shovels. Four keys. Two stacks of torches. Um, trying to think what you need in the wield. Um, I'll bring a holy water just in case. But otherwise there's not too much in the... Like, you have to bring too many things in order to make treasure actually useful. This will bring us more food, this will bring us something, and I don't care enough. Let's go. I think we'll do okay. But hopefully this mission will level us up enough so that our n next time we can take on uh, the 12-pounder. And they'll be one step closer. That'll be the second to last boss we have to fight before we enter the Our darkest land dungeon. Is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. All right. This is probably my favorite party composition ever. So this is like the only place where medicinal herbs are actually useful. So you might as well get something for it, even if it is just for food. <laughs> hey, maybe that'll save our asses. You never know. The only issue with this party, you can take out traps easily, all that stuff's cool. The only time this party sucks is that there's nobody good at scouting at all. Nobody's good at scouting. So if you if you plan to see anything, fat chance. Like, gains purchase, like this is not the party you bring to hopefully find, you know, secret rooms. It's not that type of party at all. We definitely want to take the stressors out. Especially since they're going absolutely crazy on that lady. Oof. Until next camp! Holy shit! That is an awful debuff. Uh, oh my fuck. I did not put her other skills on. Ooh. That's awful. Intimidate them so they don't do as much damage. Holy shit. That's awful. I upgraded the stuff, but I never actually switched her skills back. Yeah, look at that. Barely even hit him at all. Well, yeah. That's gonna suck. The end approaches. Alright. Actually, she'll die next turn. It wouldn't matter at this point, actually. Buff. Uh, let's go for a heal. Might as well. Good dodge. Um, I'll take a breakthrough. Because they haven't actually done dam- or had damage done to them yet. Oh my gosh, one. Hell yeah. Alright, and start queuing them. A death by inches. Normally, I would have been able to stun and do all kinds of crazy cool stuff. I won't quite die next turn, so we will heal. She 
was blighted twice, which is kind of nasty. Probably use anti venom on her, honestly. Let's do a party heal. Nice. Always like getting the seven. We resisted. Unfortunately, my leper has like terrible speed. Actually, doesn't he have. No, he's a speed of six. Hmm, interesting. He just hadn't gone for a while. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Dodge. Just one inch away. Ooh. There we go. Now he's dead. Okay. I guess we'll just get the kill then. Nice. Awesome. These nightmarish creatures. You are going felt. to remove they that debuff be beaten. because that's nasty. Let's move her forward. Open up that heirloom chest. Sweet. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do? Let's raise our torchlight. The match is struck. Nope. A blazing star is born. Yeah, we'll eat that four food we got from earlier. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. All right. I forgot to do the thing again. Shit. On a positive note, we might get rabies. Although she's not the one I'd want to have rabies. Or her. on that one holy shit Oof, the dodge sucks uh, party heal because we're all gonna suffer from that bleed a little bit hey saber wolf how's it going there we go awesome we're trying to defeat the last bosses today so we need to uh, level up some of the areas hopefully this will be the last level up that we need for uh, the wield, and then we can fight the 12 pounder, which is the champion version of that giant cannon. Gosh, of course she's marked, so like everybody's going ham. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Let's take that dog out. Give them no quarter. Okay. Precision. Nice crit, power. actually. Give her rabies. Do it. Do it. Oh, come on. It's been so long. There's only one person in my party who. No, I actually I don't think there's anybody in my this party left who has rabies anymore. I think everybody's been cured of rabies. Six points per round. All right, we'll uh, heal you up there. All right, now I have to remember to add a blinding or no. Disorienting glass, and there we go. Now we're good. I was missing those stuns. Awesome. Yay, a scout! That rarely happens in this party. What was it? Oh, gather three medicines. So we basically need to explore. No, nobody be. No, you fucker! I have the thing in my inventory so that it gets rid of something. At least he doesn't have a lazy eye anymore. <laughs> hey, Jankelberg, how's it going? I need to get rid of Curios on Wild George because that leads to some terrible shit. The way is lit. The path is I could clear. help him, but no. He's going to refuse to touch it with holy water. He's just going to go for it. Dungeons of Dank? Okay, no problem, Jankelberg. Enjoy. Are we salty again? Um... 
You know the thing where he's curious? Yeah, he got clumsy because he touched an effigy without holy water. It's cool. It's not real um, rage. It's just, you know, in general rage. Um, so it looks like there's salt going on. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure he died. You have an ancestor's signet ring which gives you plus 10 accuracy. Asshole. 28 crit? Hell yeah. I. Why does everybody go for the third person in the row? It's kind of ridiculous. It's just disorient them. Decisive oh. pummeling. <laughs> See? So. <laughs> it happens. It happens. This game does induce a lot of rage, I gotta say. Like. Yeah, it's probably the, probably the most rage-inducing salt, you know, filled game that I've actually played on stream Success before. So clearly in view. But it's one it of the few that I actually enjoy playing that induce so much salt. Actually, it seems weird, like... Well, he needs the debuff family. If I gave him more... The only thing better than that accuracy wise would be friggin what is it the uh the accuracy ring that like minus is eight dodge which is just asking to get hit in the face hey popular carrot all right okay no Okay, Intimidate to debuff them, and only debuffed him. Uh, we're not gonna waste a break from here. Such a wow. Assault cannot she can't heal from there either, which is a pain in the ass. And she's, she's also one of the slow pokes that can only move one per turn. Grievous injury. Thank goodness he has just How so much protection, doesn't be. matter. Alright. Um... I feel like we can get away through a breakthrough here. Alright, now they can work like that. That's absolutely fine. Reeling uh, about to break. Intimidate both of them again. There we go. There we go. And the mark is a nasty one. Okay, then we can party heal next time. Well, depending on how he does. He's holding out, but he could definitely use a, a concentrated heal. Just keep him blinded. Good. That's what I like to see. Now, I can't reach her in the back. I'm gonna go with that. Buff again. Nice. That should help. It still hit very high despite having like a lot of debuffs there. Okay, we're getting to focus the heal on him. 28 crit. I'm okay with that. If we stun them again, I don't even know. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's that minus 25% or 20% debuff right there in action. Uh, let's see. 66, 66. I'm gonna max it out. I want them doing absolute shit damage to us. You need to heal yourself. 
cool. Party heal with her next time. One damage, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Doing absolutely like shit damage. All right, we're gonna focus on the back here now, probably. I'm gonna try. Nah, nah, they resisted at this point. I'd be a little afraid if they didn't resist. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, we're gonna hew at this point. Well, crit. Okay, being marked is a bad thing. Party heal. Whoa! Alright, well, just crit on him all the time. I, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I didn't mean you. Oh, their um, their debuffs are uh, wearing off. Okay, that's not so good. We have to raise our torchlight. We can stun them again, because their their buff ran out. Please iron swan this bitch to death. Come on. Oh gosh, that guy doesn't have a debuff anymore. Oh, the debuff just wore off. That's bad. Look at the best thing here. She's still stunned. I guess I could do this again. It's very awkward. Okay, there we go. Now it's not so awkward. I'm gonna break through. Really? Right then. Well, that takes care of them. Please. You're fucking kidding me. Get those corpses out of the way. Her dodge is 43, actually. Now I'm not so like, that's ridiculous, and I kind of just, like, understand what's going on right now. Holy shit. Her blight resist is a little bit less. Let's make sure she died. There we go. Jeez. Unforeseen. That bitch is crazy. Okay, so what's the dealio? As victories mount. You have ten plus so accuracy. Resistance. Why does your dodge suck so much? From other... Minus 15 from other skill? Other skill? What the hell does that... Oh! Oh, she gets minus 15 dodge from... Gotcha. I, I didn't know what was going on for a second there. Might have to camp soon. I'm not liking where our Vestal's... Uh, stress is at. It was actually a pretty bad fight considering all that surprise round and having to switch them around. Could have done that a lot faster if that wasn't the case. In Radiance, may we find victory. We did get that. Alright, so there's a battle right here. I was afraid we would come against this. We basically want to stun her. Good. I kind of just want to kill her right off the bat. We need to start debuffing the giant. Good. Oh, thank 
goodness. I was not looking forward to another party jumble. Oh, I can't Disorienting Blast. I can poison her. She won't quite die next turn. Oh gosh. Okay, good resists. Get her out of the way. Executed. Hell yeah. Let's see if we can get away with this. Nope. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, so he's basically gonna keep intimidating the whole time. Because we desperately need him to, like, have the least amount of damage as possible. And then we're gonna stack Blight. Or not. We're gonna stack Bleed. Good, his Bleed Resist is a lot less. Okay, that's not as bad. It's still really bad, but it's not as bad as it could have been. I've seen some of those hit for like 36. It's ridiculous. What the hell is with her accuracy today? It's awful. Keep the Intimidate up. He resisted that time. Party heal. Oh, good dodge. It's like the first time we've dodged a tree branch smackdown. Good blight. You gotta debuff him. Shit, he's resisting. He's becoming more powerful now. Good, he's bleeding. Let's judgment. He's a tough bastard that can really hit hard. Good resist. He resisted. Come on. Whoa! Oh no, this is gonna be bad. Okay, he will die next turn. We just have to survive this. 23. Hot damn. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Alright. Uh, we don't need... Don't need deeds. I'll take that. And we don't need busts anymore, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <sighs> it's always an option. To go fight the Shambler. Just remember that it's there. I wouldn't be really keen to doing it. I I I know, pa I know, carrot. I know. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like how do you how do you how does a giant dodge you? Exactly. I I I no words. There's some things that should just be hard-coded into a game, like some things don't make sense, like missing a giant. It's kind of like hitting the broad side of a barn. Like, you should be able to do it regardless of how sucky your character is. Just have it diminished effectiveness or some shit. Um... That shuffle sucked, and shouldn't have even happened. Now we're not gonna waste our damage there. We can still attack from here. It's like throwing a rock and missing the round, exactly. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense, and it shouldn't happen. Why? It's like they know who's the most stressed out in the party. Alright, we're gonna have to camp. And we'll probably walk backwards to camp, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but whatever. Let me see. That looks badass, man. That looks really badass. I like that. Alright, let's see here. Am 
much can I do to her? 6 to 12? I'm gonna go for it. Actually, no, I can't. Because then he's useless for a round. I have to move her back next turn. Um, in that case, we're gonna do damage to him. Uh, party heal. Okay, we gotta move her back. Because otherwise, like, he's useless if you bring him to third position. Push her back even more, please. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Thank you. Now, no, please don't. Oh, shit. Cross your fingers, boys. No, no. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. Well then. Okay. She's gone nuts and she's moving on her own accord. This is gonna suck. So we're probably not gonna fight the Shambler today. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. see what we can do here we need to oh shit she doesn't have a way to improve her accuracy oh she does but I don't actually have that for her this isn't the great greatest like stress reduction party ever yeah it's good for now I almost just want to reduce stress on this person right here, on Tunnel Snake, because she's going to be insane regardless. And, like, it's kind of useless to just do that sort of thing. We're going to target disease and disease resist. Might as well get disease resist. I don't want her getting rabies or anything like that. Because right. I knew that was going to happen. Now, we could actually complete the mission next. Like, the Curio could be, like, in the next tile. Of course it's not, and we're probably gonna fight a friggin' pack of crazy bullshit. Oh no, we didn't have to fight a crazy pack of bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna cheese it here. We've got three Curios. Either of these could be what we're looking for. Oh, that's the quest location. Never mind. We know what we're doing now. Nobody- Why would you touch the corpse? No! May or may not have a fight next, we'll see. 120, 110, 110. Let's see, 27, 25, 31, okay. Okay, hopefully there's no fight in the next room. We can just leave because this is getting crazy. Of course not. It's also one of my most hated combinations of enemies, sort of. I'm not a fan of these guys. Blinding cats. Sweet. Get rid of that guy, hopefully. That helps. 
I'm going for straight damage here. A devastating blow. Good dodge. That can hit for a lot. Um, people could harm themselves when they go insane. Um, I don't think they can harm other people. I I could be wrong. I haven't had it happen to one of my characters before, but I I've seen I've seen them hurt themselves, but I'm not. I haven't seen them hurt other people. They could though. It wouldn't it wouldn't be surprising at all if that were the case. Uh, let's see here. I don't like his um, his stuff, so I'm gonna disorient him. Good. Fucking seriously? Do I have to give you two trinkets to increase your accuracy? Cause holy shit. Really? You rolled low on that one? Thanks a lot. Just a kill victory. Him. Perhaps the turning point. Shank's kind of nasty. The ground quakes. I meant um, the other one, but that's okay. I meant the one that gets rid of corpses, but okay. Ghoulish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Oh no, we need one more, don't we? Shit. Okay, grab it. Take it, go back. Then we'll check out these two curios, and if they're not the quest item, then um, I guess we gotta go over here. Simple enough, really. Or it could be in that hallway. Hmm. Oops, no. I think it would say quest item. I have to get rid of curious on Wild George. Actually, it was funny. We were actually considering uh, making him Curious George, like as a name. I was so confused as to what the fuck was going on there. I was trying to light the torch, and it didn't happen immediately. Well, either it is or it isn't down this hallway. a lot of gold. Okay, then it's in this hallway. Oh, great, and we have another battle coming up. Shit, this is a nasty one. Didn't have to go down this way. What the fuck is with that lady? She can barely hit a fucking anything. And she has plus 10 to her accuracy. My god. I don't even know anymore. Keep intimidating them until they hit like butterflies. They're still hitting damn hard. Ooh, one resisted the stun. Go you. What? She's 
going nuts over there. It sucks. This is a completely unnecessary hallway. Okay, that doesn't really matter. They can be in either position. Keep the debuff, the debuff up. Good dodges. Just need to hurt that guy a little. How much? Can't quite make it. Uh, we'll disorienting blast. Ooh, probably shouldn't have done that now that I think about it. How quickly the tide turns. He crit for zero? I guess I debuffed him enough, so that's what happened. Popular carrot. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. We could stun another guy. Let's stun that guy. She stun crit him. I don't even know how that works. Death okay, that's kind of nasty. For the slightest lapse in concentration. See, she hurt herself there. So that can definitely happen. They can they can hurt themselves. I'm gonna do this. He'll die next turn. And let's just go with a hue. A nice. Strike. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Woo! Gotta go down that hallway. Now, I guess the question is... Do we go for the battle? I'd rather not. I'd rather walk the extra paces. Alright, 120, 46. Yeah, okay. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Could have just gone around. Could have gone around and we would have all been happy. But no. I had to explore, didn't I? Alright. You better do it this time. Somewhere in this hallway. One last battle to fight. It's not a terrible one. As long as they don't go crazy with Cytokinesis, we should be fine. This isn't a crazy battle. Wait, what? She marked herself? Those are different kinds of slimes. I don't think they're the kind that, um, that are flammable. He'll die next turn. Let's get that corpse out of the way, move him back so we can focus on that guy. What? Ectoplasmic profusion? <gasps> What now? 
asshole. Light resist is pretty damn high. How about his stun resist is pretty damn high too, but I think we can get away with it. <laughs> what the fuck is that potion? <laughs> oh gosh. I think it's, you probably don't get it until champion missions, but apparently they have, yeah, ectoplasmic perfusion, which attacks everybody and summons a giant slime. Where'd they get the extra bones? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know anymore. At least she rolled high on that one. It's at minus speed. No! Oh, you know cytokinesis too, you giant asshole. <sighs> Just kill that thing. You. He'll die next turn. Or not. And you again? Nope, nope, he's still there. There we go. The greater the glory. Also, I thought we were close and apparently we're not, because this is a freaking corpse. It's in this hallway. Oh my fuck. It's in this hallway. You know, the hallway, like, right at the beginning. Because we've explored everywhere else except that hallway. Can a slime bleed? It's it's tough, but you can do it. The way that I kind of explain it is that it kind of works like stabbing an egg yolk. It just sort of, like, is like a thicker layer or something. Fuck it, we're full clear in this bitch. I don't fucking care if we're fighting like some giant ass motherfucker. Okay, we gotta get rid of the fucking slimes. No, we're, we're going through this shit right now. I don't like her. Kill one of those assholes. Get a Hugh going. No, you cytokinesis motherfucker! Really? You couldn't do that one extra damage I needed? What an asshole. So yeah, we won't be fighting the Shambler. <laughs> just, just letting you know that option doesn't exist for us anymore. Get the hell out of here, you hag! Seize this momentum. Push on oh. to the tasks and. Took a little longer than expected. Uh, let's see. Um, probably not going to use those. It's so salty. This whole team's not coming with us for the next mission. They they desperately need some time off. Fucking 
<laughs> that was the most long roundabout mission I've ever fucking done. And neutralize contagion. But hell, we made some some good bucks there. All right, all right, I fucking get it. Rabies, give him rabies. Let there be a redeeming quality to this fucking madness. Hey, natural swing, you desperately need that because you can't hit shit. Aw, oh, Photomania was such a cool fucking thing. I'm, it's, oh, it's a shame I didn't lock that in. Woo! The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly. All right. The curse upon us all. Now then, while George... I want to get rid of Eve's Curious, above all else. Because I hate it. Uh, let's see here. Creeper. Let's get rid of the... Actually, it's hilarious that the Creeper gets the creeping cough. I, I actually can understand the irony in that. That's pretty good. Um, let's get rid of the creeping cough. Uh, fairs. I actually want to lock in Natural Swing because she desperately needs it. Philly the Synth. She can chill. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, the Dark Tambourine. Woo! Don't give a shit about that. We're still not there yet. We're still not there. Oh, I do want the Ancestor's Musket Ball. I do want that Ancestor's Musket Ball. It's really damn cool. Oh, uh, yeah, Saberwolf, I think you're still alright. You helped us kill a few bosses, actually. Yeah, Saberwolf, you're right here. You haven't actually had anything locked in, but you are a Mankind Hater and an Eldritch Slayer, which have helped out tremendously. You do some wild, wild shit. Although you have Night Blindness, Weak Grip on Life, and Unquiet Mind, but that's cool. <laughs> it's not been a, a terrible issue in the past. Uh, oh gosh, this guy needs to be upgraded in order for him to be a viable option. Let's go nuts here. It's a wheel tactician. Uh, Turn God Jr. Yeah, you're right here, actually. You're doing great. I think I brought you... You're like... You're like the, the dude who hates mankind the most. You're the mankind hater and the manslayer. It's absolutely incredible. I plan to bring you on the 12-pounder boss fight. Definitely. Because he'll do so much more damage. He can introduce some nice stuns. I almost want to know... Can we... I feel like we need another healer. We can't just rely on... Uh, I, I, I'm just not comfortable with relying on... Uh, what is it? Weird reconstruction. It's just not a good idea. Let's see. <laughs> Accurate enough. We could go safe on this one. I'm not sure. Let me see. Because he can stun, which is cool. He can mark. Um, maybe we could bring Zaliagoth with us. And then make use of his mark as well. And she is a nice debuff. And she also has a healing skill. So maybe we won't use her mark. We'll use her healing skill. I don't know, the wield freaks me out, though. 
Alright, well, if we're doing anything, we're definitely giving him the Demon's Cauldron. Uh, and we're also going to... Let's see. I don't know, I'm not sure what else to give him, actually. Right, we're definitely doing... Let's see. Spiked Collar to give him more damage and more bleed. No, no, my phone didn't go off. It sounds like a klaxon horn, so it definitely didn't go off. I think we're going to be safe this mission, because it is a long mission. It's not a mission that I can just go, Oh, hey, we'll bring anybody we feel like, because that's not going to help us at all. Probably the best. Yeah, that our man sell. Mansell's a good person to bring with this, actually. There we go. And actually, we could bring Phantom with us, because he's actually very decent uh, with the whole uh, marking situation. I think this will be cool. Depends on who goes first, actually. Alright. Uh, let's see here. So, he's... I don't think anybody needs to be upgraded, really. Except for... We could do Hands from Abyss. Which would have another stun chance. Which would be pretty damn cool. We got the extra debuff uh, skill chance for Weakening Curse. We got Sacrificial Stab. And we can rearrange people if need be, which is a really cool ability to have. Um, I think we're good there. We don't. We could always use him to stun like the first person if we need to. Plus, it can actually reach the first three people, which I did not realize. Uh, let's see here. We're definitely gonna go wounding helmet and probably ancestor's pen because the the crit damage is incredible. Uh, let's see here. Ancestor's Candle is usually a fantastic option. More speed and uh, better stuff there. And then let's see. Frog Comet. Wait, let's do this. Nope, nope. Now, we could give him literally anything. Um, I don't think he needs protection. We could give him a Legendary Bracer, which would be hilarious. I'd love to see him just do incredible amounts of damage. Otherwise, we could give him... Maybe the Eldritch Slayer's Ring, because he'd do like a ton more damage to Eldritch. It's not a terrible... It's not a terrible thing. Most of the things are Eldritch in this area. I think, aren't they? Let me double check. I think most things... I mean, everything's pretty much Eldritch in, uh, in the cove. Let's just see. In the Weald. So you have Eldritch, Eldritch, Human Eldritch, Human Eldritch, Just Human. Yeah, so it's mostly Human Eldritch, basically. And Human. Um, yeah, I feel like this is the safer option as opposed to getting more stress and, what, less speed, which can be a doozy sometimes. Alright, I think it'll be a decent party. He'll basically go first... Uh, we'll be able to mark someone with Target Whistle, which also minuses protection. Uh, he can debuff people. He can get, like, sick shit with Collect Bounty. He also does well against humans, which is going to be helpful. So I think this will be probably our best option here. Uh, this is a long mission. But we're going to get a, the Musket Ball. And the Musket Ball is, like, one of those friggin' things that's amazing. Okay, 
what else can we bring? Um, can bring four medicinal herbs for getting rid of debuffs and making more food. Otherwise, if we're usually okay with anti-venom and bandages. I usually don't touch many things in the in the wield, really. And I'm bringing those just in case we can do a quirk purge, because I think most of them. Shit, Frog Comet's curious. Of course he is. Of course he is. Do we have another? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going. I, I don't care. Shit. Oh, I should have put someone else in there too to get rid of curious. I knew all these paths. Oh, once. great. This now is they're nasty. as twisted as my own ambitions. Good, a surprise. Oh, wow, we start off with you. Okay. Um. I would love to get rid of him. Harry. As the fiend nice. falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, the dodge sucks though. Slice and dice. Shank is pretty nasty. Oh, yes. Give them no quarter. Um. Healing. Uh oh. We have two healers on the team, I just realized. Well, I kind of knew it beforehand, but now I realize it's effectiveness in a long mission. Hooray! Is broken. We're gonna survive. Yeah, but that's saying that's gonna bite me in the ass, isn't it? We just want to survive this. We have to explore 90% of the map. Ooh, good. This is a good scouting team, so at least we know what to expect. We can always camp twice, which is always cool for long mission. Not even. We're fine. Oop, hey, there we go. A trap and nothing. Cool, I will definitely explore this area. Alright, who's got the best trap to start? 135. Hell yeah. Not even gonna touch that tree because you need anti venom to make it even useful. There's nothing in here anyway. There's the torchlight. I swear the wield for some reason, I don't know why. I feel like the wield always it just seems like it looks darker, because it is supposed to be like a dark, forbidding fo forest. But like mechanically even seems to take more torchlight than normal. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but it just seems to. Alright, we'll bring up the torchlight before we go back to this room, so hopefully we can get some a nice scout. Hopefully. Not sure about that. is good enough. Hmm, no scout. We'll go under. Okay. Fairly easy one if we can take out this guy first. In fact... Holy shit, because it's, um, it's an eldritch thing, he's gonna kill it immediately. Continually onslaught. Holy shit. Destroy. Them. Oh. We can't bleed the skeleton. 
I can do this. Fuck out. as the enemy crumbles. There we go. We just need like things like that all the time. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Hey, some anti venom. Okay, spitters. Best thing to do here. Hounds Harry does two to four to each of them, and they bleed for how much? Three points for three rounds. All around, it's friggin' great, actually. Impressive. Okay, if she's marked and stunned, that's a terrible thing because they have some nasty spits and bites. See how much that hurts? Holy shit. Good miss. Oh, crap. Oh, that dodge, though. Holy shit. This is gonna make things. Oh, gosh, please don't. How quickly the tide turns. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, holy shit. Um. Um. Wow. Holy crap. That marking just screwed us over. I think they're all gonna die because bleeding stacked. But holy shit, that, that humbled me right there. Fuck, hey. They just they just marked her and, and focused her. That was so nasty. Alright, you you get some anti-venom. Holy shit. Holy shit. Our healer took a beating. Oh shit. Ancient drafts lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting. That moment when you look at chat to see what's you know going on, and then you run right straight into a trap. It's a cool thing to have happen. Um We can always come back to fight that. Whatever that is. Okay, what do we got here? One thirty five. Nice, starting out a friggin' adventure with a friggin' Vestal with Mortality debuff. Great shit. A good way to start this mission. In Radiance, may we find victory. We used to have to complete 90% of rooms, so it's not like we have to go crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck, and it's a giant ectoplasm. Mark him. The fact that those spiders all attack the same person was the most devastating thing ever. Okay, we got an issue here. Unless you crit heal for 36, then it's not an issue anymore. Holy crap. Good, he resisted the debuff, which is actually a nasty debuff. Good, he caused bleed, awesome. Get rid of that giant octoplasm. I think it's nasty. You know what? I want Abyssal Artillery. We'll switch that um, when we do this. Alright, let's do this and then we'll get rid of the corpse as well. Okay, got blighted. Just heal yourself. 
We need you off of, uh... Oh my gosh, crazy bullshit. Uh, let's see here. Honestly, we'll just attack him. Wow, nice. And bled. There we go, we just need another round of combat to make that, uh, better. Oh boy, that's bad. A powerful blow. Flugle her! Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay. Don't do demons, pull do abyssal artillery. It was a key. Take the crests. That's a big scout. What the hell? Was it like... It was like blue in the middle for a second for some reason. It was blue. Okay. If you're going to open a thing I'd already opened, then that's fine. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of the uh, the citron. Take the sapphires. The light, the promise of safety. Yeah, that's kind of a nasty business right there. Uh, I will mark this guy. Now you're unholy and you're human, so none of these are really going to help at all. I'm actually going to probably weaken and curse this guy, so we don't have to worry about his damage as much. And 19 is nice. We might actually go back a room to camp because she's getting dangerously close to that level of uh, really needing a uh, some stress relief. Yeah, only three. Nice. Okay, man, you've got to stop your howling. Holy shit. We can't have that. When you got to focus down this asshole, because he just won't stop. Glory. Oh, he doesn't he have like precision striker or something cool like that? This expedition at least promises success. No, he has eagle eye, which is pretty damn sweet. But yeah, we're gonna go back. We can actually, we can get away with this because we can basically use it camping twice. It's a shame we have to use it so early, but hey, you know what? If it's just for stress relief, it's not too bad. Dark ritual. Interesting. Ooh, that removes mortality debuff. Wow. Is that on? Yeah. That's really damn cool. Holy shit. Removed her mortality debuff, and now it's just frickin' dark. We could dog therapy to reduce everybody's stress. Uh, in fact, that's probably what I'll do first. And give everybody stress resist. Um, five points left. And then we can Sanctuary. I should have sanctuaried first because then she can get um, reduced stress. Damn it, I forgot about that uh, going on. Was there anything beneficial here? From this as opposed to the other one? More surprise chances, I like that. I don't think anybody else has... Oh, you've abandoned hope. Closes in. 
haunting the hearts of men. But hey, we removed her mortality debuff. That's purchase. awesome. Spirit I did not know that was a thing. And purpose is made clear. Her stress is still an issue. And I should have done Sanctuary and then that because she would have reduced her own stress from Sanctuary, prevented a nighttime ambush. And then we could have removed the mortality debuff, but... I didn't even know removing a mortality debuff was a thing. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Stress is still up there, so it can be it could be an issue. Oh well, they're all, all right, 135. But actually everybody has a stress debuff or stress resist for the next four combats, which is nice. And I think this hallway is empty at least. Let's try to get a scout. some food. Now let's not dig the grave. 85's fine. Okay, good, we got a surprise. That's excellent. We definitely want to set this up. Because we definitely want to kill her. We definitely want to weaken and curse him. Gonna add a mark. Oh, that dodge sucks. Of course, aim for the person who has the most stress. That only makes sense, right? We're probably gonna end up camping again. Never mind, it's already happened. The I don't care anymore. Approaches. Just please, you fucker. It's, it's almost like a repeat of last time. It's just ridiculous at this point. Please don't push him. Thank you. What the hell was that? It's like pink arrows. Can, can it be my turn? Oh my gosh, we don't have enough torches for what I'm doing. She crit healed herself. That's some stress relief. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the. I gotta move to him back because he can't do his, his big attack. A freaking. A freaking crit. A friggin' crit executed. from from Confusion Spore just brought her over the edge. Gotta like that. 41. Only 7 damage because the minus 80% uh, debuff. That's awesome. Please don't pull her. Whip them good. Of course they're blighted, right? Why wouldn't they be? Good dodge. She's already crazy, so I'm not gonna camp. Uh, let's just kill this thing off. He's gonna need another debuff. Oh, and his mark ran off. That's bad. I'm doing a lot of damage, which is nice. Keep their health topped off. 
Please stop poisoning my people. Oh my gosh, that's actually dangerous. A singular he is really critting. Holy shit. There we go. Champion falls. Friggin' A. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Yay, scouting. Alright, nothing eventful. Excellent. It's what this party needs right now. Is nothing eventful. A lot of torches left. We might have to actually use a, a camp as a last torch. We're going. We gotta clear some shit out. We would need what? Uh, bandages in order to do that? Go for it, man. I'm not stopping you. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's pretty standard, but yeah. Okay. We definitely want these things dead first, because they can be pretty nasty. Although I'm gonna start with a hound's harry. The ground quakes. Good, and they're all bled. That is awesome. Even the pigs of St. Martha can carry that too. What? Uh, let's go ahead and let's heal. There we go. And abyssal artillery, which actually does a ton of damage to them because I did that on purpose. Uh, let's see here. I want to punch him back. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He can't do crap back there. I think he does like a stumbling grope or something like that. Like, it, it's not full damage, which is pretty damn cool. Why is it pink? That's not too bad, actually. He's also stunned, too, that's, that helps. I'm gonna do it again, Hound's Harry. Ooh, we got two dodges there. But we compacted the bleeds. That's awesome. Uh, Abyssal Artillery. Wow, nice crit. Bad dodge, though. Kill that thing. Stop stressing out my people, man. Come, come on. Fire and death. Uh, she dealt damage to herself. Let's heal everybody. Tetanus! I love it when my people are already insane and they get more shit, so they just have to spend a, like, a longer amount of time in the, uh, in the asylum. Why you gotta focus on my doge? Why do you gotta do it? I'm Terry. They're bleeding so good right now. Holy shit. Um, actually, he'll die next turn, so we can just focus on these guys. In fact, I could possibly kill him with this. Actually, no, well, well, he crit, so that helps. Wow. Maybe I should bring a cultist to uh, one of my cove missions. They seem to do some crazy shit. Need a party heal? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. He'll die next turn regardless. So we just stall to heal.
Eh. All right, we got something out of it. Seize this moment. Yay, another torch. Push on to the task's end. Found a map of the area inside the tent, but apparently we already know what's going on. Alright, we don't have too many rooms to go. This one's a freebie. Probably only need to go either that one or that one more, which is nice. Actually, if Dogefan fares well, we might actually bring him to the boss battle as well, because we are going to need uh, a good ranged person. Don't touch it. Got to bring that torchlight up so we can get a scout. Nope. Hey. No, I have keys. I have keys. Lots of keys. And you had to be an asshole. Oh boy! Um. Stun! There we go. Because I don't like her. She's bad. Hey, webmasters. How's it going? Alright. Um, we just wanted to do damage to her. As much as this thing is a pain, I don't want to any more stress is what I was going to say, but she, she can freaking dodge like a mother. Yeah, I'm doing good. Except we're, wow, we're doing like this crazy dodge exchange right now. It's pretty wild. All right, let's mark this guy. I don't think he has any protection. Oh, he has 3%. I didn't realize. I don't think a weakening curse is necessary here. A devastating blow. What the hell? Our cultist is insane. A dizzying blow to body oh and brain. Like that. Yeah, watch out for the multiplying slimes, definitely, yeah. The stun resist is too high, I don't think I can get away with it. Unless I had a trinket or something. Let's get a heal. I guess we could go with this because our cult is kicking some ass. Has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate um, sanguination. No, I want the rubies. That was our last torch. Okay. If this isn't the last room, then we're going to be forced to camp here, because our torchlight's not going to be what we need it to be. I don't need deeds. I know he's going ham, I mean... His crit is 10, which is crazy. Um, he gets one extra from Demon's Cauldron, but I guess his base crit's, like, obscenely powerful. Plus, this actually does more damage against Eldritch, and the crit modifier on this is crazy. But, uh, I like that he has Natural Swing and Eagle Eye. It makes most of his ranged attacks do, like, some crazy crits. I have no torches. Can we leave? Nope. Okay, we're forced to camp. Use the, the light that would get from camping. Circle in the dark. The and she dealt damage to herself because she's an idiot. Alright, you... Accuracy and critical chance. Cool. That's also Hound's Watch. I don't want to be attacked. And then we could party stress heal with Therapy Dog. What else could we do? Anything else? We have two left. I think this is the last room that we need to do. Yeah, we gotta stress remove the cleric, yeah. 
Okay, so a lot of our trinkets aren't going to work here. That's bad. Hound treat hounds Harry. <sighs> Mark. Uh, Elder, um, Abyssal Artillery. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Uh, I gave him an Eldritch Slayer Ring, and he already does more damage to Eldritch, so he goes ham. And for the perfect coup de gras. Nah, of course that wouldn't happen. Hey, but we got our light up! So our trinkets will work again. But, yeah, that hurt. Yeah, this occultist is nuts. Well, he could have could have done more than that. Jeez, thirty-eight crit. Really, you couldn't you couldn't just eke out the other little. Actually, he'll die. It's cool. We got it. Woo! Victory. Perhaps the turning point. Fine, I'll take them if you want to give them to me so badly. Jeez. Look at the tent. There's nothing. Oh, there's a map. I don't care. Let's go. Woo! Alright, and we got the freaking Ancestral's Musket Ball. Let them arrive on Harrod. Holy crap. Next. Oh, people got a couple things here. We've got Phantom, who now has... Oh gosh, that's terrible. We have to get rid of that. And Frog Comet got Vertigo and Stress Faster. Which got rid of Natural Swing. It's uh, one of those things. We dug for months. Okay, we have a lot of weird things that we have to do for people. And we were rewarded with madness. Okay, we have to get rid of their insanity. What do you want? You have a love interest. Fine. Fine then. Can I make it cheaper? No, I can't. Okay, Monsell. There we go. Who's got diseases? Wild George, you've got lethargy. That's not cool, man. Uh, Frog Comet has vertigo. It's not cool. And I think otherwise we're okay. Sort by level. There's some people I'd like to have some stress relief though. Fares and Philly the Synth kind of need it. And hopefully Wild George will get some passively, I'm not sure. But I think we're okay. Uh, let's make sure we get all of our trinkets unequipped and put back. All right, so the oh, it's the sixteen pounder. So this thing is ready to go. Oh, that's amazing! The Fu fuseman's matchsticks, awesome. Level the lagging for better loots. Uh, I could. I want to save it for the survivalist though, because the survivalist is one of those things where you really need to to actually. We're probably going to use it now. Um, but first what we're going to do is we're going to uh, assemble a team. So, we've been saving... Turing God Jr. Where are you? Yeah, Turing God Jr. the Manslayer. Because <laughs> holy shit, Manslayer and Mankind Hater. It's going to be great against this boss. Alright. Um, you need control of the board, so we're probably going to bring Bakora with us. Because we need to be able to hit anywhere... In case the fusilier's in the back, in the middle, or in the front. Well, actually, he, he won't be in the front, but whatever. It's fine. We're... The dude can't be debuffed, so this isn't a, a debuffing sort of mission. Zaliagoth might be an interesting person to bring, especially with sniper shot. Um... And then, on the off chance, marking the 
the actual cannon. And probably Doge fan. Tunnel Snake. Tunnel Snake. Tunnel Snake would be interesting too. For control of the board. Which I think we're gonna need here actually. I think we're gonna need Tunnel Snake to control the. Actually, I don't know. I feel like killing power is the way that you have to go with this thing. I mean, I guess you could stun the Fusilier, but we'll have. If we bring Dogefan and we bring Zaliagoth, like, just the killing power alone will be, like, the most insane thing in the world that I think will be good. Let's do that. We'll just have insane killing power. Plus, we'll have some, uh, benefits with marks. We'll definitely want to increase his speed, uh, Dogefan's. So Dogefan's going to get the Ancestor's Candle. And... The spiked collar. And then Zaliagoth can get the new Ancestor's Musket Ball, which is freaking crazy for her. Uh, let's see, we're gonna get our tried and true trinkets for our healer. And our Hellion is probably gonna get the Ancestor's Pen. And honestly, her... It's weird. I've... I've been finding that her accuracy is not the best. But if we're going straight damage, the sun ring plus the accuracy is going to be great here. Um, what are we going to do for Zalia? Hmm. I don't think Zalia really needs too much. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 2 speed. I don't want her to go first, though. I want him to go first, because his debuff marking is way better than hers, because the minus protection is way more useful to me. Um, so we actually don't want her to go first. In fact, it might even be beneficial to... to do Legendary Bracer to make her a little slower. And just make her damage insane. Yeah, alright, cool. I like it. Uh, let's make sure they have the camping skills together. Yep, Battle Trance, definitely. Uh, sharpen Spear. That's fine. Actually, I would like Encourage on Bakora. Let's see. Courage. Let's get rid of this. Courage. Let's see. I think Zaliagoth has all the things that she needs. Yep. Actually, she has everything. Marching plane. Restring crossbow. Damn, she's a good camp healer. My god. Damn. Alright. We'll keep the singular heal for now, because usually we're not in that bad of a situation. Um, we're good there. And then who else? Did we have? Uh, Turing God Jr. Who has all the stuff that we need. Well, except for Sanctuary. Yeah, it's more useful to us. Okay, cool. Let's do this. And then it'll be one more boss down. Uh, let's see here. Champion mission, I always buy all the food for extra healing. I'm gonna be cautious, bring three shovels. It's a boss battle, so I'm not going nuts here. Uh, I will buy... Five holy waters so that we can buff ourselves before we go in. Yep, shovels. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. One minute longer. Let's do this. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, 
I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored, and the noisome population of the hamlet was culled to more manageable numbers. Our ancestor was one badass dude. The smell of sulfur. All right, so it's like right there. Hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Why is the accuracy so low? Oh yeah, she's the one who has crazy dodge. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. She has like insane amounts of dodge. Like 43 dodge. Holy shit. Hunter kill her all. As the enemy crumbles. Bola. Bola doing some serious damage. Holy shit. That was awesome. Give her rabies. I dare you. Damn it. I even dared him. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Yeah, might as well. Nice. Hey, more medicinal herbs. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Uh, let's make sure you get a, a bandage. Holy shit, that hurt. She's gonna need some healing the next fight we have. Scouting. Oh great, we've got some battles ahead of us. They're not bad ones, surprisingly. Press this advantage. Yeah, Keep okay, that's awesome. Quarter. Their formation is broken. Okay. Maintain the offensive. What the hell is going on? This is amazing! Holy what? You're fucking kidding me! That was awesome! Holy shit! Literally everyone in my party crit that turn. Smack! As the fiend falls. Holy shit! That was incredible! We just have to duplicate that! Holy shit! I was not prepared for that! We desperately need that guy to die. Because the accusation's so nasty. Good, she resisted the debuff. The debuff is the most horrible thing ever. Why? Why? Is there like some sort of thing that's like, okay, let's find out who the most stressed person is and attack them continuously. I know, that was friggin' nuts. Oh, come on, I could've done more than that. Actually, Hounds, Harry? Yeah, that'll do. As long as we get a bleed. It's nice. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Make him bleed. Yes, seven damage per turn. Gotta like that. Well struck. Nice. Finally, a good dodge. At least she's resisting the blight. Maybe you don't get blight from their, um, rent the mark. That, that could be a possibility. And damage return, he's dead. Awesome. The slow death. Gosh, how long does a mark last? Good 
she crits all the time. What is going on? <laughs> Zalia used to have rabies, which was amazing, but unfortunately she doesn't anymore. So sad. It's one of my favorite diseases. But yeah, she's got Eagle Eye, so she has plus 3% ranged crit skills. She's tough, so she has more HP, and she does 10% more damage when Torchlight's above 75. So she's basically her own like non-negative sun ring plus the ancestor's musket ball plus the legendary racer like she's she's gonna just destroy I'll take it what do you got what's in the box eat some food I really don't need deeds anymore. The way is lit. The path is clear. Okay, it's kind of a nasty one. Oh gosh, why? The worst thing ever. Literally the worst thing ever. The Arbalist can do nothing in the first position. Good dodge. Please dodge again. Nope. We're gonna need to camp soon. Oh, thank goodness she can move back two times. Good dodge. I gotta move her forward, so we're probably gonna do a, um... Crazy thing. She's getting screwed over, though. Like, people are just not letting go of the fact that she's marked... Oh my god. She's actually strike. gonna go insane if we don't take care of these people in time. In fact, she's gonna go. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, push him, please, actually. That'd be useful to me. Not that far, though. I would have appreciated a little less. But, okay. Can't complain too much. Please kill her, thank you. Please don't. Oh gosh. Bakora, be good to me, man. Just, just, really, just pull through. Oh shit! Reeling, gasping, take him over the edge into madness. Okay then. What is with my Hellions and having shit accuracy tonight? Well, I mean, actually, the. Minus five accuracy from affliction. Which I assume is what? Irrational? Try hard mode? Fuck no. Oh gosh, I wasn't looking at what I was doing. Damn it, chat. Maybe heal someone that didn't need to be healed. I'm not doing hard mode, nope. The game's made me salty enough and I can't handle it really. And this has just turned into a shit fest. Like, l let's be real here. I've actually had to mod the game to make me enjoy it again. So that I can play and not get my ass handed to me. And let's be honest, I get my ass still handed to me. So I'm not trying hard mode at all. It's just not gonna happen. back because I can't heal a death by inches you dealt damage to yourself there just, you know in case you complain about why you just died best I can do is party heal. 
That's really sad. You refused my healing. We are going to have to camp here or you're going to die. This is what it's come to. So yeah, even with, momentum. you know... Push on to the task's end. Yeah, even with me, you know, modding the game as much as I did to, you know, have everybody have a little bit of protection and, you know, having quest items stack and every little thing to help us out. Nope. We still get our asses kicked. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Okay, then. You're going to do Sanctuary because she actually has mortality debuff and is insane. She's still bleeding, I know. It's for one round, we can we can deal. Uh, you need more accuracy and more dodge. Thank goodness. Uh, let's see here. And let's uh, restring crossbow. Because holy shit, that's going to be awesome. Beyond that, all we can do is stress healing and other stuff. And she refused it. The light, the promise okay. of safety. It's a shame. I would have liked to give her some of her her buffs, but there's not much you can do really. Good dodge. Don't want that. This isn't too bad. I want to get rid of these assholes first. Actually, no, he dies easily, so might as well get rid of him. Mm. Hit for four, drain for three. Not quite enough. Just get him out of the way, really. At this point, I will actually do some cool stuff here. She has a, a ability that can attack the last three. And normally it's, you know, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it should actually do, like, a really decent amount now. Because she has so many buffs. Like, it's ridiculous. Alright, now he's gonna be in trouble. Suppressing fire! I was hoping it would do a little more, but hey, they have minus 10 accuracy and minus 10 crit, which is awesome. She dealt damage to herself. Good, make him bleed a little. Stack that bleed. The fits. I love how all this shit can happen on the way to a boss battle and there's nothing you can do about it. This is just like every other, you know, dungeon where shit can just normally happen to you. It just so happens that the whole goal is to fight this giant motherfucker at the end. He's doing some nice dodges though. Precision. Yeah, power. Just keep that up. Minus 20 accuracy, minus 20% crit. You, sirs, are not going to do well. 10 damage per turn, he is dead. Is he dead next turn or not? The Red Plague! Wow. She 
used healing because she's an ass. She doesn't need to be marked again! Roars like a lion. Pressing fire. Bubbling. Minus 30 accuracy. I can't believe we got diseased. Someone's on death's door and is insane and inflicting damage to themselves at this point. Holy shit, this could not go... I mean, it could go worse. That's, you should never say that in Darkest Dungeon. It can definitely go worse. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Back again. But holy shit, she got the red plague. Granted, I mean, her bleed resist is gonna suck, but. Oh, that minus 5% crit, though. It's basically like not even carrying around the Ancestor's Musket Ball. Oh gosh, she has no crit chance at all, but she has better speed now, which is interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I mean, they're still... As the light gains they're purchase, still all effective. Are lifted. They still have all the raw damage. I'm just not sure how they're going to fare in this battle. Alright, so let's, let's eat our foods. Okay, and then everybody gets buffed. And that's the best we're gonna do. Let's raise the torchlight. In radiance, may we find victory. Let's just hope we get some good shit going on here. Oh, we surprised these guys, but not the actual boss. Okay. We gotta get rid of the Fusilier. That's four damage per turn. Uh, actually, we could probably Hounds Harry. I'm gonna dog treat Hounds Harry. Awesome, he'll be dead. Everybody's healed up. Gonna judgment these guys. Actually, this guy's probably the most damage dealer right now. Nice crit, strike. despite having absolutely no crit at all. How does that even make sense? Come on, really? 14? Okay, that sucks. Oh good, no debuffs. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Okay. He's dead. I can get away with this. Breakthrough. And then we can always use the uh, medicinal herbs on her next time. Sniper's mark. We gotta get some marking down on this thing so we can start doing some damage. Oh nice, the corpses actually have a little bit of a, a space left there. 12, 4 per turn, he's dead. Actually, it doesn't have debuffs, so we're, this is the best we can do. I forgot about that. It doesn't actually matter at this point. Really dodged? Fucking A. Why is there the pink arrows? It's gotta be a glitch or something. I mean, I have actually messed with the game profusely. Oh great, I can't actually hit the thing. That's a little unfortunate. I forgot about that. Alright, the best I can do is bowl up. We did crit it. 
That's cool. to do is three. It's... Mm. Now I regret taking Zally with us, because technically she can't even hit it with sniper shot. A little unfortunate. Like, that's the best she can do. Okay, let's leave that guy alive, weirdly. You fucker. Wow, that sucks. Roll high on that one, please. Three damage per turn, he's dead. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna have to force heal him. Okay. Gotta mark it again. We have to keep someone in front or else I can't do a, a sniper shot on it. Which sucks because I hate this guy. Four damage, he's dead. The thing's marked. I'm gonna focus it down. Because the, the, you know, it's gonna keep summoning stuff. How quickly the tide turns. Oh shit. There's the siren. Okay, we are gonna. Oh gosh. It's kinda nasty. Let's see if this is worth it or not. Crit for 19. Yeah, I'd say it's worth taking a couple hits for a few turns. Just to get that. Okay, he's all the way in the back, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, let's see, I have the Iron Swan. Which doesn't guarantee his death. Let's do that. Hounds Harry. Have them bleed a little bit to at least start doing damage. Good dodges. Good resist. Laughs like a hyena. She refused healing. Okay. Well then. Crit for 19. It's worth. Killed him immediately. That's awesome. That sucks that I have to basically have this guy here or else this is going to be a terrible issue. Oh boy. Please heal her. Thank you. Please, no. Damn it. It's like the person I don't want you to hit at all. Alright, I have to mark this thing. We're gonna do this, it's just gonna be a bit of a, a pain in the ass. I can't rely on her Iron Swan killing it, so I have to use him to do it. Grievous injury. Palpable. This is why I hate this guy, but I have to keep someone there. Actually, his corpse will stay there, won't it? His corpse will stay there.
Yeah, I need a little bit more than that. It's forcing our hand at this point, Hounds Harry. Now we gotta we gotta take care of him. Oh shit. No, he's dead, good. I'm gonna break through here because his corpse will stay there that's excellent I forgot about that that was a thing he's still an asshole but we can deal with it injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice Crit big! There we go. Our family crest is once again a symbol of strength. Holy shit. Holy shit. As victory That mark, was real nasty. So too will resistance. Oh. That was a nasty fight. But we did it. Now we got this friggin' Fuseman's Matchstick, which is amazing. I'm gonna enjoy using that. Alright, what do we got? We pretty much have to put everybody away, unfortunately. Wakora gets the worries. Oh, that's bad. And Kleptomaniac, that's really bad. Hard skinned? Good for Doge fan. I might have to lock that one in. Guilty conscience. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Holy shit. Once. Our estate was the envy of this land. Alright, we gotta get rid of some bad things, right? Tetanus is bad. Cora has the worries. That's bad. Zaliagoth has the red plague. That's bad. Oh boy. All right, uh, so let's see here. We need to get rid of every compulsive type thing going on here. I want him to get rid of clumsy, actually. We gotta get rid of that. Phantom's fine. Frog Comet is curious. Gotta get rid of that. And Doge fan. I definitely want to add hard skinned because that's going to help a lot. Alright, make full use of that area. Let's get their trinkets back. We can sell that one blight charm and probably one of these bloody herbs. We've got three Eldritch Slayers rings now, which is pretty wild. Uh, let's see. We can sell that. What's that? It's debuff resist. I don't care about that. Alright, cool. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see here. We have put a lot of people away, which is a bit unfortunate, because now it's like, well, who do we bring with us? Also, there's apparently people with even more diseases. Uh, let's put Turing God Jr. in the church. He's got a lot of stress going on. <laughs> we gotta put Bakora away too at some point. Alright, let's see what we got. Basically the cove is what we have to do next. Cove. And I think I want to cheese it a little. Now... I basically have a mod that makes it so that I can bring high level people on, on lower level missions. So veterans can go on, uh, or no, champions can go on veteran missions and veterans can go on novice missions. So I'm going to cheese this a tiny bit, maybe bring a couple people along just to help us out. Uh, like we can bring Cavalier and, yeah, George Birchie is actually pretty damn good. It's fun. It's actually no way. We won't bring George Birchie because George Birchie has a few things I want to lock in, and I don't want to lose when it comes to quirks. Quirks have big.
been a thing that I've, I've found have, have really helped out. And it's, it's nice to have them. All right, Creeper. Yeah, we can bring Creeper. Let's see. Fares has Eldritch Hater, so that always helps. And who else can we bring along? Debuffing technically isn't an issue here. Ooh, Steady's nice. I want to lock that in, actually. Who else could we bring with us just to, like, see what's up? Maybe I'll bring this guy. Maybe I'll bring this guy along. He's a few things I'd, I'd definitely like to get rid of, but might as well. He can debuff. Alright, what do we got here, then? Oh, gosh. They can all have Eldritch Slayer's rings, too, which is going to be great. Alright, let's see. You, of course, do your tried and true thing here. Uh, this new Grave Robber. She's the only person doing ranged attacks. She's going to be doing mental ranged attacks, which is awesome. Um... Oh, this Iliot's the weirdest thing. These these dudes, the, the Hellions. Well, I mean, we're not doing a, a higher level mission, so it won't be an issue, actually. So, we'll be fine. But yeah, I've, I've, they, their accuracy sucks really bad. It's it's pretty wild. Uh, I'm actually going to go damage for this as well. Actually, let's go Eldritch Slayer Ring. Eldritch Slayer Ring. Eldritch Slayer Ring. And then you need... Just looking at the protection of both of them. Hmm. Let's go ham. I'd rather go ham. Uh, let's do Ancestor's Pen. And Ancestor's Candle. Alright, I'll see you later, Bakora. Have a good one. But yeah, basically, we've reached a point where our last boss is in the cove, but we need to do a few cove missions. So, we'll cheese it, do one of these missions, because I think it'll improve it a bit more. And yeah, so, we should kick some major ass, so this will be sort of like an exploratory um, mission to get as much gold as we possibly can. So I'll bring my standard fare. Maybe a little more than usual. That should do. Okay. Recover these lost shipments of rarities, that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. Find ancestor relics. All right. It's a pretty bad trap. Cool machinations spring to life. Minus twenty dodge is kind of nasty. Purpose. Gosh, what is this? That is a seriously nasty party. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. So it's better to just focus him. Almost. Their formation is broken. We're gonna be doing a ton of damage because all these dudes are Eldridge. Well, uh, let's see here. She's a tiny bit damaged, I don't care. Oh, do, oh, what happens if they barnacle barrier each other? I hope it doesn't happen because honestly that would be the weirdest thing ever.
damn. He has a lot of protection. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice. They really don't like that leper. There we go. The cove is actually one of my favorite areas in the game. If the giant wasn't in the wield, it'd be like, I, I don't know. I guess in order, if I was to choose my favorites, it would be the... See, the wield's really cool, but like, there's certain things in the wield that really screw you over terribly. Like, I'm a fan of like, mushroom forces and stuff like that. I always think it's a really cool concept, but friggin' A. With the giants and the crazy spiders that almost got us killed today, like, <laughs> I'm liking it a bit less, but actually my most hated area in the game is probably the Warrens. It's awful. Oh, why? Just why? I also hate this thing. This this enemy in particular is the most terrible thing ever. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to break through just to get the lady out of the way. We can work like this, I'm pretty sure. Really, couldn't eke out just, like, another little bit there? Please don't. Good. Title slime's nasty. Yeah, the Uka's nasty. It's- it, the thing that's the worst is Arterial Pinch. It's honestly the worst thing in the world. I've had someone get up to 30... 32 damage per second from Bleed. And it would have lasted four turns, but we had another weird situation where uh, I could basically uh, camp to get rid of it. But it was a, uh, it was dicey. It was very dicey. We're gonna stack blight here, probably. Just party heal. Get everybody topped up. It's weird, though, because he doesn't, like, his actual attacks don't do damage. But his arterial pinch, like, is real nasty. It, it actually makes you bleed. Good dodge. Oh yeah, I was gonna blight. Dude has a lot of protection, though. Like, if I was to have, like, an enemy party, he would definitely be in it. Because he has some crazy knockbacks, and... He only has two moves, hilariously, but it makes him crazy. I've never seen his corpse before because usually we kill everything else first. But that works. Woo! This expedition at least promises success. Stashed heirlooms. It's more of a gold mission than anything. We've we basically don't need heirlooms anymore. We've upgraded most of the things that we need. Just to get rid of them right later, I guess. All right, let's see. Oh gosh! This party is not good at scouting. Actually, we do have a grave robber. Should be better than nothing. Okay, nothing's there. Is struck. 
A blazing star is born. Honestly, we might need a bandage. What, I can't use deeds as bandages? They're, it's like paper. It's kind of like the same thing. I don't think I've ever been on one of these missions before, actually. There's a good scout. Ancestor Shock. Some things are better left unopened. Okay, then. I believe that. Alright, uh, we'll just dip into this room for a second to see what's there. Who has the least of- okay. So, it's one of these things that can either give you something good or something bad, but the good's actually a good percentage. Natural swing! That is amazing! Yes! Awesome, especially on a leper who has who, whose base skills have low accuracy. Yes, that's awesome. I just hope that at the end of this mission, he doesn't like... Oh, yeah, and then I got it switched again for this! Aren't you proud of me? No. No, I'm not. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Okay. And purpose is made clear. Odd little situation here. A decisive pummeling. Well, shit. All right. Good dodges. The dagger throw has better um, crit chance. Nice dodge. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay, let's see. 120, 110, 120. Alright, you need the stress relief. I wish stress like healing was a bit more effective. I find that for all the stress that you get in the game, like, really 8, you could at least do 10 and, you know, do me a favor. <laughs> like, come on. The light. The promise of safety. We have to kill that thing immediately because it explodes if you leave it for two turns. I was hoping it would do more damage, but whatever. There we go. Can't reach that thing in the back. The dodge sucks. She's really getting stressed out, actually. Oh, great! Barnacle barrier. Hey, at least they mix it up a bit. We've had some terrible luck with people just being like, Oh yeah, you're the one with the most stress? Let's just keep pounding that one person. Pretty effing wild. Uh, let's see here. We're good, man. He would be on my monster party as well, causing stress and stuff like that. That'd be amazing. Um, probably the best. Oh, 
he resisted bleed. See, I think it's, yeah, I think this um, Pelagic Oracle is like one of the few, um, one of the few enemies that actually heals other enemies. It's pretty the damn cool. Quakes. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. Sweet. More torches. Good stuff. If we can get stress handled, I wouldn't Another actually be mariner. opposed to doing a um Another a shambler. I think the Shambler is also Eldritch, if I'm not mistaken, so it wouldn't be too bad of a decision, I think. Oh, great. At least keep the stress even if you're gonna be that way. Or you can just crit for 27, we don't have to worry about it anymore. That's nice. I like that. Can this thing bleed? Yeah, it's dead. Cool. Awesome. Didn't even think about that, but yeah, I guess that thing can bleed. It's not resistant at all. Sweet. Well, that made everything really easy for us. Just hope we don't get too crazy of an arterial pinch going on. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Start stacking those blights. And... The bleed's going to be a tough one to do. What is this, base 139? I'll try it. Nice. Party heal. Wow. Please don't. Good dodge. Good light. Good bleed. Oh man, 16 points per turn. He's friggin' dead next turn. The awesome. The beast, the greater the glory. Is that a protection charm? You know what? I'd I, I take it. Oh, we're totally full on medicinal herbs. That's interesting. I don't think it's that worth it. Okay, uh, what was I gonna do? I forget. I was gonna do something cool with one of these. Oh, yeah. Slow reflexes. Stress versus unholy nocturnal. Yeah, okay. So hopefully nobody's curious anymore. So we can just go ahead and use the medicinal herbs on the eerie coil. And... Fear of beasts quirk removed. That's good. Gotta like free uh, negative quirk removal. It's amazing. Okay. It's a nasty bit of business here. Good stuff. Sweet! That was an excellent opening round. Probably one of the best surprises we've had so far. Um, 
Since they are just Eldritch and they have absolutely no uh, protection at all, this makes it easy. Sweet. Be wary. Triumphant pride mm. precipitates a dizzying fall. We kind of need crests. We also need gold. I'm going to say no to the bandage. That's an interesting thing. Skeleton key. Eat the food. Take the jade. Alright, not much left to go. We're still good. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they reduce torchlight? I forget. It was not quite enough. That'll do it though. That thing does nastier damage than the rest of them. Please don't move her. Thank you. Good resist. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of this guy first. How quickly the tide turns. Shit. And stunned. Okay. It's cool, we didn't need that person anyway. Nice crit. There we go. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Can't get any more crests. I feel like if I grab a stack of crests every single battle, well, at least be able to get, you know, some upgrades eventually. Uh, let's see. We could probably get rid of the jade and take the gold. Probably better stacking. Hey, another one! Oh, awesome. Take it. We have one more. Okay, if we have to eat again, then we're probably not going to camp. Which isn't the biggest problem in the world. Good scouting. <gasps> Secret room, yeah! Alright, um, let's see, how many shovels do I have left? I have a ton of shovels. Try this open. This is a bit awkward because I've everybody set up for Eldritch stuff. But you can't argue with that. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Pretty heal. Alright. Mortality clarified in a single strike. It's pretty nasty. Slice and dice sucks. There we go. He's almost dead. Re oh. Hellions, man. Sometimes they they go against someone who. How much judge sick? If they have a decent amount of dodge, you cannot hit them for some reason. It's awful. Awesome. Okay. Nice crit. 
Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, and I just got rid of my holy water. Friggin' A. Oh, not quite. That's what Iron Swan's for. Holy shit. You can see the difference in damage between, like, having an Eldritch Ring and not having one. Or at least fighting something else that's not Eldritch. Friggin' A. The last thing that we're going to have to fight is Unholy, so it's going to be a little awkward. Because I want to equip people with Unholy trinkets to help them out, but it's going to be a little weird. Oh my gosh, they're actually stuck doing Stumbling Scratches. Because that one goes first, then that one. That's hilarious. Um, we don't have a battle for a long time, so I'm just going to break through. Party heal's not necessary. I'll take the shovel, I'll take the Foolish extra crests, powers. and I'll take the gold. Brought low and driven into the mud. And I can't do anything with that unless I have holy water. Um, I guess let's camp now. It's yeah, I think so. Make some room in my inventory. Gathered close. Unfortunately, I have no food left. An uneasy Which companionship. Sounds. Sanctuary. I don't want to get attacked. You need more accuracy. You can do some crits. Um, we don't need scout chance anymore because we found what we're looking for. Take the extra stress relief, and there we are. No, the other door. You know, the secret room door. Woo, treasure missions. Ooh, we're good. We get to purge another negative quirk as well. Slow reflexes removed. Awesome. Now we just have to remove the other thing that minuses his speed, which is nocturnal. 120, 120. Good stuff. Don't need shovels anymore. But I think this last room is what we're looking for. Woo! Alright, I'd call that successful. <laughs> hey, another feather crystal doesn't hurt. 17,000 for that one. Got some reached level 4. I think a few people leveled up as well. Fares gets a Blue Tomania. Beast Hater. Okay. Let's see, we got Tough. Oh, that's nice. And Creeper got Evasive. That's nice. And Stress Damage versus Unholy. Okay, that's not the best. But I like Evasive. That's cool. In oh, time, right. you will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right, let's just see what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to take a peek here. So we still need to level up the cove. What do we got? We've got a sun cloak, sacrificial cauldron, ancestor's pistol, which I don't think is too good anyway. Uh, we'll probably do one of these again, honestly. Um, a, a veteran mission with champions, because why not? All right, we need to get rid of the fits. Sort of class, sort of activity. Uh, anybody else got a nasty disease? Nope, that's the last disease. It's a shame I can't just give my people rabies. It'd be a lot easier. All right, Cora needs to chill it up out. Doge fan and Wild George too. Might as well. Uh, let's see. Can we get some extra stuff added? Nope. I like evasive. I like evasive. Evasive's nice. 
Phantom. Unyielding? Yeah, I think we're okay. Fairs. I think we're alright. Ah, oh, yes. We want this guy to have natural swing and get rid of nocturnal. That's so expensive, but holy shit, it'll be worth it. Alright. And sell? He's a precise striker and stress faster. And sells friggin' nuts. Uh, Frog Comet. Ranged crit chance. 15% damage on the wield. Claustrophobia. Billy the Synth. Anything good there? Plotter. Steady. Ooh, Steady's nice. We're gonna lock in Steady. Minus 10% stress damage. Alright, well we used up a lot of money there. <laughs> which is a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, the thing we're gonna do next probably- Oh, we need to bring George Birchie as well and give him a steady- Shit, I need to do that next time. It's okay. But yeah, so next time we'll probably do this lower level mission, just keep leveling up the cove until we can fight the last version of, the, like, the sodden crew, basically. So, actually, does George Birchie? Yeah, he's, he's full up. Okay, make sure. I'll we'll probably uh, raise up Cavalier, uh, Cavalier again, and we'll find some new people to help out. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. We, we got the Ancestor's Musket Ball, which I'm very excited for. It's a really nice damaging range trinket. Um, but yeah, we'll level up the cove, we'll fight the, uh, the crew, and we'll go to the Darkest Dungeon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, see everyone!